Good morning. It's just barely still morning. It's 1130. It has been the slowest day ever. I, uh, I got this Instacart. This one's okay. I'm okay with this one. I accepted one right before it. I'll show you it. And I didn't realize it was three of them for 18 bucks going to two stores. And I just, I was like, what, what in the world am I thinking? Like this one is two customers, but at least they both at the food line. So, you know, the waves have been dead this morning, but there's a hurricane coming. So they're going to, the, the waves are going to get rough a little later, I bet. All right. So that Instacart wasn't too bad. I had to refund on a 12 pack of soda though. So that could do a lot of things to your tip. Um, but yeah, I had to do this order because the only other order I saw, somebody accepted like right away. So, you gotta take them. All right, so I got another Instacart, <clears throat> but uh, I cracked, sensed out accepting it, so I don't know, uh, I didn't get a screenshot. I don't know how many miles it was. I'd say it's probably more than 10 miles, and it was between 27 and $30. It really sucks doing Instacart if you don't get a screenshot, because you don't know, like I can always, taking screenshots of all your orders is, I think it's a good habit. And I'm only saying this because I've been doing it so I can put them in the videos, but you can always go back and look at the order you know, the offer screen. I, I feel like all these apps only want you to look at that offer screen for a couple seconds. So that way you, you make up your mind quick and then you, you just do it. You know? All right, so this Instacart took me 30 minutes to get it shopped for and put in the car. It went pretty smooth. The only problem I had was I didn't scroll all the way down to the end of the list when I started because I usually do that. And I didn't this time. And I remember why I always do it because there was produce all the way at the bottom of the list. Why you do that, Instacart? Maybe had to go all the way back over to the produce section. But it's my fault. Always scroll to the bottom. All right, after dropping off those Instacarts, I gotta say I'm not a fan of that second customer only tip six bucks and they live far as hell i just want to thank instacart for tricking me into doing that order i i appreciate it as i was making my way back from dropping off that last instacart i just got this one um it's, it's a pretty good order i think it's like 22 bucks for a couple miles and like under 20 items So I made $22.69 on that Instacart. That was a good order. It didn't take me that long. I actually have no idea how long it took me, but maybe 30 minutes. Okay. So uh, not too long after I dripped, dripped off that last Instacart, I got this, uh, this Instacart right here. Like, what was it? 42 bucks, 43 bucks, something like that. Like six and a half miles. 47 items 60 units so it's a big order but big payout and i'm confident i can get this one done in under an hour maybe a little bit more so this is an amazing order all right that order went pretty smooth until i got to the cashier they got a lot of new cashiers up at food line and they are not the fastest when they do and i mean that's understandable so it took me like 40 minutes to get it in the car shop forward and in the car i think it was like 25 minutes 
of just shopping. And this joint's going to an apartment, first floor. You know how I feel about that. That's a win. All right, y'all. So I just got this Instacart. It is $54 for like, I think 11 or 12 miles. And it was like 30 or 30, so between 30 and 40 units, man. I am not good at remembering. I know it's like, not units, 30, 30 or 40 items and I think like 60 units. Still, I'm gonna knock this joint out in a little over an hour. And I don't even got time for these other apps. Like, why, like, why would I wanna go ride these little, you know, $5 waves? For three miles on DoorDash, when I can I can pick pick up these big waves like this on Instacart, you know, and I'm not like driving into 15 different parking lots and shit, you know. I just I guess it's just because back to school, man. I I knew it was gonna happen, so now if I just put the time in, money gonna come in. Anyway, we're gonna go knock this Instacart out. Instacart shopper pro tip here: when you have three flavors like this. Don't do them individually. Grab all three, stick them in the cart, lay them out like this so you can, bam, scan them all real quick. Same thing when you're going through the cash register. I'm not putting these in a bag. So what I'm doing is I'm going to boop, boop, boop with the little gun. Scan all three of them, moving on to the next item. So we're going to do the same thing here with the Capri Sun. You get the Fruit Punch, you get the Pacific Cooler, put them so you can scan the barcodes. Bam, scan them both, on to the next item. Now here for tan packs, I'm gonna show you the pro tip, how you can grab it this quick. 32 count, purple on the box, boom, scan it. Moving on to the next item. All right, so I got this joint shopped for all 36 items in 34 minutes. Uh, it took a little longer, but I did film a couple clips for y'all. Gave you a little pro tip. All right, that Instacart took me 50 minutes to get it shopped for and put in the car, so. This one might take closer to two hours, but it is closer to $60, so that's all good. I'm about to roll out. A couple eventful things happened when I was, when I was walking in the store, this lady, she's one of the cash registers. She's really nice. Anyway, she's one of the cash registers. She's a cashier, Jesus Christ. She's not a cash register. That'd be really weird. Anyway, she, uh, this is like the fourth or fifth time I've seen this happen, but she's and she's always walking around the parking lot with her keys. Like, I can't find my car. Why don't you just park in the same place every day? And then the second thing that happened when I was in the store that I found amusing is this lady was walking around with another person and they were like, are you sure we got everything? And I was thinking like, that's money in my pocket right there. That's those easy orders people go and buy stuff and they get home and they're like oh i forgot i don't feel like going out but yeah instacart is freaking ridiculous like the one person lives like half a mile from giant other person five miles the only reason it's 12 miles is because they want me to drive the five miles out to deliver to the one person and then come all the way back to the giant i mean that that's how i don't really want to uh where this one's going i'm not trying to deliver food anyway so i'm fine with what it made me do but just the customer's perspective of why is this guy driving five miles away from my house with this food? And then Instacart doesn't even tell him that that's what I'm doing. And I just got my three star taken away today. So I only have one four star as a bad rating and then all five stars. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling invincible. It's funny. Like you get the bad ratings and you're like, oh man, I really gotta watch what I'm doing. And then for me, when I got a 5.0, I'm like, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do my thing.
drop that insta card off. Gotta love it. The second person lives in a pain in the ass apartment building. Tip me two dollars to go shop for their groceries. They spend all their money on rent. Said it can't help me out. Whatever. 54 bucks. Probably took an hour and a half. I don't know. Let me look. Yeah, so hour and 20 minutes dropped them both off. Probably 10 minutes away from home. Um, I don't know. I don't really think I'm going to... Well, I'll keep Instacart on, but I don't really feel like playing DoorDash. You know, $5 orders don't really seem like the thing I feel like doing right now. Maybe I'll feel like doing a Mama Romas. We'll see, but I'm not making any promises. All right, so this is definitely going to be the last Instacart of the night. It took me eight minutes of shopping. Hang on, let me let me look how long it took to get it in the car. Yeah, so 15 minutes since I left my house. Got this joint in the car. We roll in to drop it off. Third floor of an apartment. Not quite going to hit a 200 bucks for the day, but. Hey, I'll take it. Instacart only. That might just be the way it is for a little bit. Looks like the cop's trying to give him a jump start. It's pretty good. Alright, so that's going to do it for this one. Uh, today I made one million dollars. <laughs> not really. Obviously I'm joking. But one can dream, right? One day, maybe. Probably not. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I made... Oh yeah, that last Instacart that I just dropped off. They, they sent me a message and thanked me. And then they left me, like, uh, a comment. Anyway they uh increased the tip by like two bucks maybe two bucks and some change i don't really know and uh yeah but that interestingly enough that put me at 193 dollars today on instacart and i did 10 batches and what i drove 75 miles in total to make 193 dollars so that's pretty good and um yeah i started at like 10 30 in the morning it is nine o'clock right now and i'm i'm done for the day so but I was sitting in my house for a lot of the day, so I was only actively like shopping and delivering for five hours and 45 minutes. So that's a good day to me. Uh, if you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching. Click on that old shoe to, to subscribe or watch the suggested video or tune in tomorrow or any day, 9 p.m. to watch a video. Take it easy.